What's up, Comic Frontline? It's Jay here from Mr. J's Comic Reviews, and I am back once again for another Riverdale Season 1 episode review. Sorry I wasn't back for the premiere, I was a little busy, but I am back for the following episode. And oh man, are we in for some maple syrup filled drama. So, um, if you haven't seen the latest episode, do yourself a favor, uh, click off this review real quick and hit the like button on your way out. Then come back after you've seen the episode and tell me your thoughts and feels in the comments down below. So, basically last week's episode ended with Polly at the Blossom House, the Cooper family in disarray, and Archie's dad, you know, having trouble with the construction work and finding out that Hiram is the one that sent the, you know, the thugs, to, the out-of-town thugs to beat up Fred's, uh, you know, Fred's crew slash, you know, Moose. Poor Moose got beat up last episode. So, this episode, we deal with more of that. Um, so, let's start with the, uh, the Veronica plot, because I got to talk about my baby Ronnie. Uh, Ronnie, man, I feel so bad for her. Her, like, I really like her arc, though. How she kind of has to deal with the ramifications of her father's crimes and she wants to you know try and make things right and of course barb is back aka ethel she's back and you find out that ethel's father actually was in business with hiram lodge and they lost quite a lot of money when hiram went to jail uh, so much so that it really kind of tore their life apart at up to the point where Ethel Muggs' dad actually attempts to kill himself. And this comes right off the heels of me watching 13 Reasons Why last weekend, uh, which Reggie from Riverdale happens to be on, but Reggie wasn't in this episode. Um, but yeah, that was crazy, and it just really hits Veronica, and she's just like, I can't do this anymore, I can't just lie for dad, he's ruining people's lives, he's, how many people like Ethel has dad just stepped on and ruined, and it's just, oh, the pain in her eyes, man, and, you know, Fred, when, um, eventually Hermione, uh, comes clean about the whole Hiram thing, about her and Hiram being the anonymous buyers, and, like the whole thug situation with Hiram, but because of the whole him finding out through Clifford Blossom that they're dating, things like that. Uh, that Fred's just like, oh nah, nah, f this, I'm done. At first he's like, I'm gonna bail, I'm gonna bail, and she's like, no, I can't start, you know, I can't start fresh. I need, I need someone like you. I need good people, and so, you know, Fred's like, you know what? All right, fine, but if I'm gonna do this. We're not, we're, uh, whatever we have going on here, it's done. We're just going to be business partners, and I get 20%. If I'm going to risk stick my neck out here, I have to have some skin in the game. I'm like, you know what? Good move, Luke, Luke Perry. Good move. Yeah, good job, Fred Andrews. So, that was the Veronica plot. Um, Betty, Betty's just trying to keep her family together. Mostly her mom. And... You know, her mom even confronts her dad, and he, she's ready to put out this expose on the Blossoms and, like, just keep that vendetta going. But Hal's like, nah, I'm not doing this. And when she, Betty's mom is like, well, I don't need, good thing I don't need your permission. She tries to log into the paper, like, onto the computer that prints the paper, which, by the way, like, they must have used a time machine to retrieve that computer, because that was, like... <laughs> It's like 99 early 2000 desktop like does that run on XP like what's going on here um, but yeah so she tries to log in turns out he changed the password like the petty bastard that he is come on Hal and that leads to Betty's mom throwing a freaking brick through the window because basically she's like you know this was our chance to get our daughter back I want her to come back I want her back I want her back now you bastard, and she throws the brick through the window. It's crazy. So, now we get to the main part with Archie. And Archie is 
being approached by the Blossoms, in particular Cheryl, because, you know, Archie looks a lot like Jason, and, you know, Jason's dead, so Cheryl's like, hey, Archie, you, you look kind of cute, the light hits you just right, you kind of look like, I mean, you, you look great, you look great, and, like, even Mrs. Blossom is like, you know, Archie, when the light hits you just right, I swear, I'm just like, oh, ew, and so, like, Cheryl's trying to, Cheryl's trying to, you know, put the moves on Archie, like, she's offering him all these gifts, a tailored fancy suit, dinner at a fancy banquet, um, you know, they're even offering him, like, an opportunity to meet with this, you know, prestigious music school, just, he's getting everything he wants, like, um, which, well, Clifford is even gonna, even offered to help Archie's dad with the work, and this was a very Archie move, where Archie's like, you know, you don't even have to worry about the music school or whatever, as long as you can just help my dad, that's fine, and then Clifford's like, you know what, son, I respect your character, I think, you know, I, you know, I go and think, would Jason ever do something like that for me, and I would say no, and, um, you know, so he's like, you know what, we're gonna do it anyway, and so, like, so, at first, everything's going great, everything's going good, but then everybody, you know, everybody else who's seeing clearly is like, you know, you're being bought, right? They're pimping you out. Um, uh, and Archie's just like, nah, I'm just trying to be nice, which Archie himself is genuinely trying to be nice. And that actually felt like comics Archie, where he was oblivious, where they're like, nah, I'm just being nice. Like, I ain't actually trying to date Cheryl or anything, I'm just being her friend, you know, she's going through a rough time. Um, and so... Like, he escorts her to this maple syrup uh, ceremony thing, and, oh my god, like, the importance of maple syrup in this town, it's like, it's like this is Dallas or something, and instead of, like, oil, it's maple syrup? Like, what the hell? So, you know, there's that, and Archie is defending Cheryl, standing up for her and her family, so Cheryl's looking like she wants to tap his tree and taste a little say maple syrup, you know what I'm saying? You know, tap, tap, tap. And then when Cheryl tries to put the move on Archie, for real, for real, Archie's like, nah, what are you doing? I got a girlfriend. I can't do this. And, um, you know, Cheryl, she goes into this whole, you know, the second you walk out, that's when everything's just going to go, including, you know, the music academy and all that stuff. And then she talks about how, um, you know, you are never here for me. Uh, you might not want anything from me, but you definitely want something from my mom and dad. That's the whole reason you're here, Archie. As much as I want to believe that you're better than, uh, that you're better than everyone else, that you're different, turns out you're not. And really, like, you know, part of me is like, uh, poor, oh, Cheryl, don't do that. But then the other part of me is like, you're just mad because you didn't, you're just mad because you didn't get the piece of Archiekins, which, by the way... Cheryl used the nickname Archikins, and I was like, whoa, 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 back up. That's not your line, girly. That is not your line. Step back. Uh, I was like, mm, mm nope. My my Veronica fanboyness kicked in. I'm like, that is not your territory. Do not. You're not allowed to say that. That's her word. Oh man, I was. Just, but yeah, that was a pretty good uh, storyline. And then we find out, like, the big twist. Turns out Polly's not dumb after all. Or at least not as dumb as we thought. Because it turns out Polly's with the Blossoms because she's trying to get intel on them. And trying to prove, like, get evidence to prove that they, you know, were the ones that pushed Jason into running away. That led to his murder. So he, she's trying to get evidence to build a case against the Blossoms. So that's really cool. It kind of uh, helps bring Betty's mom back. And, uh, you know, Betty's mom and Betty have a really nice moment. There's even a bug head slash jetty moment. I'm, I'm still not too fond of them. The actors themselves have really good chemistry, but the comic fan in me is just like, I don't know, guys. Um, but yeah, so there's that. Um, with, you know, Polly being the, in the woman on the inside in Thornhill, so that's going to be interesting. And then the final thing is we find out that... Um, Clifford Blossom may have been the one responsible for putting Hiram Lodge in jail and tearing his family apart. So, that gives Hiram the perfect motive to do the same for him. Now, we see 
through this whole thing that Jason was that symbol for the business, that, that golden boy, that heir, that legacy that kind of held as a pillar to the business. And that's what they were trying to use Archie for, because they were trying to use Archie as kind of a figurehead. And that's what, but then Archie backed off. So, could, like, the one way to destroy the Blossoms is to destroy the family. And since business wise, they don't, obviously don't trust Cheryl. The only way to really destroy that structure is to take Jason out. So possibly um, Hiram Lodge is responsible for Jason's death. And honestly, that's a pretty good one. Um, I'm not going to necessarily dispute it yet, but I don't want to, I'm not going to believe it 100%. Because, you know, as the farther this epi these episodes go on, the more, you know, red herrings you get thrown at, uh, thrown at you. Um, last but not least, of course, um, I was wondering where Val was these past couple episodes. Turns out they actually acknowledge that Val's being ignored, and Val's like, nah, I, I don't need this. You've just been blowing me off. And if you're not gonna pay, you know, if you're not going to pay attention to me, I'm not just gonna be bought. I'm out. So Val and Archie are gone, so again, leaves Archie on the market, so Veronica, I'm just saying, come on. Like, if, if they're gonna let Bughead slash Jetty be a thing, give me Archie Veronica. That's all, that's all I want. And I like that Archie is becoming more Archie as the episodes go on. I really enjoyed that. But yeah, that's what I thought about this episode. Let me know what you thought in the comments down below. As always, don't forget to leave this video a like. And subscribe to Comic Frontline if you haven't already. And also stay tuned for the end card so you can check out... Um, my Riverdale playlist as well as uh, click my channel icon to subscribe to my individual channel Mr. J's comic reviews as well as the comic frontline logo to subscribe to comic frontline if you haven't already as always guys this is Jay from Mr. J's comic reviews for comic frontline and I'll be back next week with another Riverdale episode review until next time I'll catch you guys later peace